Bartlett. Hello and welcome to this episode of No Blasters with me, Karen Bartlett. Today's guests are Strabanter merchants, Ronan Boyle, Emma McElwee. We're having a good time here. Uh, we've just been eating smints. We're going to talk about that in a wee minute. Anyway, today's episode is fucking covered in vague hay fever. All right. Anyway, it's a oh, fucking melting. Anyway, today's episode is sponsored by the best in below the belt male grooming, manscaped.com. You want to buzz them pubes, clean off yourself, manscaped.com. You're thinking, do you know what? I don't like having a fucking greasy, sweaty, smelly bag in the summer. Manscaped.com. You're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm going to wear something challenging and thought-provoking when I'm away near the pool over the summer and I don't want any wee daddy long legs, hers hanging out of it. Manscaped.com. Go over to Manscaped.com. Use the code NOBLASTERS20. That's the words. NOBLASTERS mashed into one word and the number 20 to get 20% off and free shipping. I can highly recommend the ball deodorant. I also highly recommend the ball toner. I also highly recommend the ball wipes. Um, and also the, the fucking, the lawnmower 4.0, the weed whacker 2.0, the, the performance package 4.0, get that, you get all that shit in a wee bag and they send you wee power monks, manscaped.com, is a good fucking time, they love us, we love them, speaking of things that love us and we love them, we're also sponsored today by Joxer, now, some of you know what Joxer is, you've heard me talk about it, some of you even go there, and send pictures of the food you get, as if, you know, I have time to sit and look at all your food pictures, I do, keep sending them, right, keep doing that, Joxer is a brilliant cafe restaurant in a bistro, if you will, in uh, Hollywood and Bangor, they do an amazing brunch menu all day, from like 9 until 4, they do amazing coffees, cocktails, buns, uh, it is the home of chicken and waffles, the home of chaffles, uh, they do it with sriracha, maple syrup, dirty wee cinnamon butter. Uh, and then they also open late Thursday through Sunday. Um, and if you want to book a late table uh, from 5 until late, uh, you can do that over on resdiary.com. Please go to Joxer. It is fucking great. The staff are amazing. They're extremely accommodating of dietary requirements. It's pet friendly during the day. It's a lovely place. Go and have a good time. At Joxer, we love them, they love us. Last little thing now to plug patreon.com forward slash no blasters. We from three pound to six pound a month, you get an extra podcast every Thursday. You get updates from me twice a week, little video updates, sometimes little picture updates. Uh, and yeah, it's a good time. You get discounts off gigs and stuff. Get over on the our Patreon, there's specials all over it. It's a great time. Noodle bar, loads of things, loads of content. It's class. Patreon.com forward slash no blasters now. Up the fucking hoods. Let's get into this podcast. So uh we were just talking our Ronan had smints with him and I asked for one and I took it out of the wee box and we had a math teacher in our school <coughs> who we used to call Smint because his head was shaped exactly like a smint. Now this was when smints had only just arrived on the scene. Um, I'll say this though, a wee guy used to get slag the bollocks clean off him, right? Was he, was he like a, that it, triangle or was he? Oh no, yeah, yeah, it was that way. Skinny face. Sort of wee, wee skinny face up into the... It's kind of like a, a grey alien. Yeah, like like, <laughs> like that, yeah, like a wee alien, like a wee... He was a wee, um, it, it went up into the shape of his mouth's brain, right? <laughs> and I'll say this about him. One of the most effective teachers I've ever had because I was shy at maths and I hate maths. But here, I know my way around a triangle. It's not just because it was the shape of his head. He he taught us uh, that shit, you know, all that sine, cos, and tan shit that weirdly has never come up in adult life. When um, he ever needed it? Never. never. It's like the recorder. Yeah. You fucking... I, 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 do you know what, What's though? the point of see, a recorder? See the, see, a see the recorder. See the recorder. At least, at least right here... <laughs> see if you get stranded. See if you get stranded on a desert island. And you need, you know, a, a recorder washed up on the fuck. Oh! You get yourself a wee tune out of it, wouldn't you? You could, like you a, could charm snakes. You could like charm a, a snake, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, you could fucking do something. See, 
see uh see that um a triangle shit at his net like but he he used to he was slightly culture, you know fancy he would he would say he would say things he, he said he told us this Soccer tour. Aye, soccer tour. Soccer tour. Soccer tour. I, left, I got a U for my maths. Did you? A U. A U. I remember As in, you are thick. You are, um, I, I, you are not good at maths. I tried to turn sideways and tell me maths was a C. <laughs> <laughs> I failed mine twice. I got an E the first time, a D the second, and I just banked that. So oh, I, my God. I banked it. <laughs> I banked that D. Can you, you don't fuck about me potentially. Like oh, that. I know, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Or Declan's A levels. Uh, results spelt end. And he was like, <laughs> says the end, look. Um, Prophecy. Yeah. Um, no, I uh, I wasn't great at maths in our, in our school anyway. Like, uh, there was some, like, real... Did you, you got your there. GCSE easy? Uh, uh, well, it wasn't easy. You're a, you have a doctorate, but I, but you I can't mean, do that before. Not maths. Uh, but you need your GCSE <laughs> maths to get under To get into uni. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, they'll be dicks about that. Do um, you know what I mean? So yeah. not really, but because I, I got into a couple of the universities and they never ever checked. I always would have got a C. Well, oh, this was when was this? So <laughs> oh, I'm third days. I'm third days. Oh yeah, no, they, they <laughs> never ever checked, and I lied about it. <laughs> So I, I, had had a, I, got, I had my degree and done my maths, but then my work wanted me to do a teacher cert. All right, yeah, so I had to just... go and do my maths to get under that. <laughs> cert was an important word cert. there. <laughs> the, my work wanted me to do a teacher. <laughs> sounds like you know your manager's really weird you write this teacher um so like no he told us that soccer tour thing which as i recall is like th- the sign I, I know sign calculator. sign is some shit to do with the opposite and the hypotenuse ka cost is something to do with the adjacent and the hypotenuse and tan is something to do with the opposite and the adjacent what the fuck here, does that mean? I don't... F- here. You've retained all that? Who knows? <laughs> no. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? I know that's what soccer tour means. Aye. I don't know... What you do with it? What that's... Wasn't it Brazilian football in the 70s? <laughs> oh, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. Oh, it's fucking rare. But he, he was great. And also our German teacher was highly effective in teaching us German verbs. Like, uh, and things that you like. You Isn't know, like, German the closest to English? The, the learn apparently yeah yeah like I, it, do you it's read the it same, like, it's the same sentence structure and stuff I've like German for a really short time at a university in Blackpool I'd never done it before and the teacher was like complimenting it, like sort of oh you've learned this before or whatever I just always sort of really yeah, liked it yeah but I'm not saying you or it's not well <laughs> <laughs> I would say you I would say it, there's a bit of hat there look about the way the way we the way we learned verbs was sort of a wee bit questionable but very effective but it was also very like repetitive and a wee bit Nuremberg-ish. It was a wee bit like, so like, have I talked about this before where they would get us to, yeah, did I? Where Tell us, but... They would just get us to like, repeat things over and over. So, I like to go walking is, you would go, spazieren, spazieren, ich gehe again, spazieren, right? And you just keep saying it over and over again. So, spazieren is go walking. Uh, uh, and you just keep saying it over and over. And it is muscle memory uh, made it's in there. Ger- German seems to be either really aggressive or really camp. It's both. Doesn't it's a ga- it's aggressively uh, camp. Yeah. Uh, mine they're famous for not loving, <laughs> they're famous for not loving the crack too, aren't they? Uh, the, their, sen- their sense of humor <laughs> is, uh, yeah, like I remember being there and their sense of humour is to sort of stick you on the back foot and then laugh at you. Aye. Do you know what I mean? Like, Aye. it's to sort of go like, you know... Like a schadenfreude? You know, like, the, the, yeah, like to like set a bill down in front of you that's not your bill at a restaurant. Aye. You know, it's maybe triple your bill. And as you go, they go, ah, and you're like... <laughs> Do you know what I do? Cheers for making me literally film a monk. <laughs> See, or, in Germany, that's one, your thumb. Oh, weird. See, if you do that, yeah. you get two beers. <laughs> I oh, that's that. mental. Because I used to go and go, I engross a beer. All right, which yeah. Which is one large beer, yeah. please. If you do five, and you get if you, do, if you do that, <laughs> they give you two. Oh, because they think you're doing that. They think you're, they're thinking To be fair, if I'm counting, I go one, two, three, four, five. Is that weird? Uh, we're, we're, one, but one, two, but three, if you four, see that five. here. I think How do you spend I, the I five on your hand? I think a void. I don't have to do it in my head. <laughs> 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 do you know what I mean? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's, it's the cunt. No. The there. I try to avoid your hand gestures in Germany. <laughs> <laughs> Dan is it's, it's Dan's cruising today. That's what's happening. Yeah, he's, top form, he yeah. doesn't value his own life today. That's what's happening. <laughs> he's been samurai me. There's no fire escape here. here. There's just, what, have I, what have I done to you, Dan? It's as if I made you stand beside Daniel. me for nearly an hour waiting on my bag in the airport. 
Um, just for company, just yeah. I was. I was, was that the way back from London? On the way back, Ooh. oh mate, for, wasn't that mental? Fifty minutes or some shit. <sighs> just stand there, and there was pe- people were. I, I, you could just feel people were starting to freak the fuck out. I was melted, but people were like starting to be like, "I have another flight." What do you call that? The, it's like a conveyor belt. Aye, the week. Aye. I'll tell you one that happened to me. I was away in Poland. Actually, that's where I found out about the Germans. Right. They didn't love my crack because I was just running around full right, all the right, time. Right. But I made the mistake of not getting a bag with wheels because they made us. It was one of these youth exchanges where they made you get the cheapest way. Right. Okay. In Poland, so you had to right. go flights that the. the but I had this big bag and it was heavy. But what I did was I never used a washing machine the whole time I was there for three weeks. But I had a big pocket at the end where I stuffed all the dirty clothes yeah, on Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the dirty pants and socks and the whole lot. Just ignored it. <laughs> and then we were in Belfast, same thing, waiting for bags to come around. And I stand and I just seen this sock going by. Oh, no. <laughs> then I seen a pair of underpants bogging. Like, Hi. I went, what? Dirty. Just and then I just, just realised, oh, Jesus. Part, part months, just stuck to somebody else's case. <laughs> and then I just seen more and more. And it was all underwear. It was all socks and pants. Did you just call it individual bits? Individual bits. And I was going, what? Dirty. Oh. And then I just seen a pair that I recognised. <laughs> no, they're mine. And I had to stand and wait for everybody. And I was doing, where's my bag routine? <laughs> and it was one of the first out. <laughs> oh, my God. Waiting and waiting. <laughs> and the smell and the people were disgusted and I was ashamed. It's crucial to bring. I always bring like a like a bin liner or a, or a what do you call it with me wherever I go now. Like a, if I'm only away for a couple of days, I'll bring like a wee, a wee Tesco bag for life. Experience. A you washing see? bag. You That's know? experience. Yeah, it's crucial. Like. Because I didn't do that and then I've, ever since I've learned. Do you ever... Why did they come out one by one? Because I stuffed the sand pocket too much. The seams <laughs> were doing that. Oh man, what are you doing? <laughs> But I didn't care, so just I thought that'll hold. But uh, I thought it was more a case of somebody at the airport maybe taking them out. Uh, and that's just the way. Did you ever watch them boys whenever they're you're looking at the one? Oh, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, and they're, they're like fragile, <laughs> written up a side of it, and they're like <laughs> smacking them with a bat. <laughs> well, <it's insane>. <laughs> <laughs> There's always somebody with a bat. Too. Yeah. So it just uh, the seams couldn't hold the ah. the width. Airports. They melt, probably went down melt, thicker than. You know what I mean? Airports hate all the security, all that. I hate all the the vibe. Everyone, everyone, everyone's just pissed off. Everything. <laughs> and everything. <laughs> see a shit where it's like three quid for a bottle of water and all. I'm like you robbing, <laughs> yeah, robbing a cons. A breakfast. Yeah, yeah. Twenty eight pounds. Twelve, like, what the twelve fuck? quid for. for and if you see a plate too, if you see anything under it, no, you know they didn't stuff the plate with food. Like oh, it's always stinking. Twelve it's quid for the thought of chips. Yeah, yeah or like. Yeah. We, <laughs> we're going away in August for the family hen. I'm just not looking forward to the airport. August. You never get a sausage in an airport. There's a fucking bit of advice for us. Because it's always like the cheapest grade. It's it's not the, good, you're, you're, you're not getting a butcher sausage. No. Anymore. You're not even getting a cook's time. No. You're getting, no. you're getting like, it's like you would literally get a higher quality of sausage out of a garage. And you buy it because you're hungry. <laughs> you do. You, you, you get it because you go, she gets something. And they never, <laughs> they, never, they never cook it, right? It's always, it's always those ones that has like, if this if it's a wee pink sausage I got, it'll have a wee brown line Aye. on four sides, but it also has wee pink uncooked. Or it can be bent and the skin's <laughs> holding it together. Do you know yeah, what? Oh, <laughs> the skin. You, you actually find that bit after. Yeah, it's disgusting, but you eat it. Oh, it's disgusting. Pound, please. Yeah, yeah, the, the red you for it as well. Oh, uh, do, you know I, do you know what I hate? I hate when you also, when you ask for something that should be there, like, you know, do you have salt and pepper, do you have red sauce? Aye. And they go, it's all over there. Oh. And you go over to this bit. And it's all them wee, wee uh, shitty. And they're wet. And they're stinking. <laughs> or do you have a knife and fork? And it's over there. Uh, and it's like, they're just, uh, it's all stinking. Everything from the communication to the food to the price. Yeah, the price. It's all shite like. The price rides me. And then you don't, drink, you don't drink a beer there, so. No, not really. I did have I a cider in London airports. the other night. Eh? Hey? Had a cider the other oh, That's right, oh. you were telling me. Dad, I had a wee cider. The and, second and half the of it. wee sort of went. Mm. The, the second half of that cider went down very smooth, and I was like. <laughs> 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 and the I rest? just went, no, no, no. How no, you did that? That's, that's a skill I was Do you know it was learned. weird in London, though? Which I, well, I thought it was weird. The bar we were in, last orders, was like fucking 10 to 12. And see when they. So and see, they mean it, like? Oh, they mean it. I, 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 I learned that the quick way. Manchester, working right. bars and stuff, and. I, at that time it was 11 o'clock and they called at 11 o'clock and that was, was 11 and I was in London you were what, done what the fuck was that like I, I've always thought London is like 
you know, oh, you're right, you're right never, here. Never sleeps. You're right here. You'll be, you'll be, you know, three, four in the morning, maybe. You can go with pre- usually the nightclubs and stuff like that, but out of that, where you know the Irish way is, gentlemen, it stops at eleven, so you order four beers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So you're going to drink, <laughs> and they came over and said, "No, that's it. Stop drinking. Stop drinking." I was like, "All hey, right," and then they were just like, "No, we're serious." This is, yeah. And last the four pints. I. It's probably the first time I've been like in a bar for a drink. Uh Literally, probably pretty pandemic. Shut up. So it was fucking weird. So what was good about London? <sighs> there was a good chocolate shop. No, um, <laughs> I'm trying to think. What, what was good? The work I was Transport's doing Transport's sort of easier. Well, here, mate, do you know what? I, I don't want to get involved in that. I'm like, <laughs> I'll Uber. Aye. I Ubered everywhere. I, I couldn't be fucked. Did you fly in the Heathrow? No, in the London city. When you go in so the Heathrow, it's just you can get underground it wherever you want. Aye. I just see that though, see even that. Crowds and I hate the melee. Like, you're not allowed like to say it. hello to anybody or you're shot. Yeah. Mate, do you know what's mental though? It's like you're not allowed to speak even if something fucking mental that requires you to speak is happening. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I says hello to somebody and yeah. like, look at me as a f- you know what I mean? Imagine something man. mental. Imagine Hulk Hogan going on and starts shaking his fucking dick in your face. Uh, You're not allowed to go, <laughs> all right, mate. <laughs> That's there. Do you just... know what I mean? Ima- imagine, imagine you're sitting on, on the fucking London Underground and fucking, I don't know, Sylvester Stallone gets on and then goes here, this is my mate, fucking Carl Weathers, the two of them together. Uh, and they're talking to each other you're and, not they're, to and, they're contact. Contact. <laughs> and they're about to fight each other and it's going to be an actual Rocky fucking Creed fight on uh, the train you're not allowed to say to the person beside you uh, <laughs> you're not even that. you're not even letting you you're not yeah, you're not allowed to go <laughs> <laughs> you'll be weird oh, mate. It, it must be an Irish thing too or it's all that because it, it's definitely you can't like they did an experiment, I think, where they actually did some a, a wee girl getting robbed or something like that. Everybody stood by the iron folded. Ah, it's not. It's not. Nobody else seen yeah. stabbing going on. Yeah, that's yeah. A, it's, a, it's a sad thing. New York's the same too. Ignoramus is just. I think it is though, because I did notice this the the night before we were out. I was out with my mate in sort of the same area in Soho, and we saw this woman falling over, and absolutely mangling herself. Now she was she was drunk, right? Mm. But she fell over and really hurt herself. And there was a couple of people who were with her, but we didn't, like, you're just walking along and you literally just see and hear, you know that, you know the clatter fuck noise yeah. of just like, <laughs> we had one of them on Thursday. And it was like, like, <laughs> yeah, and it was like, I went, holy fuck, right? And John, uh, my mate Johnny was like, Jesus, and the two of us, you know, you do that thing, we go, uh. And it was like, they look around at us like, <laughs> you're like, <laughs> you're natural hangs, they help. Yeah, you just go, and then you go, do you know what it is? Here, it's like, Somebody would see you fall over, go over to you, or laugh, go, go to at help you. Some sort of. <laughs> I mean, in London, it's like they'll go over and maybe you get pickpocketed at that point, or you get fucking. <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, and, and so people are just suspicious. That's <laughs> mad. It must be because what's the population of London? Like <coughs> I don't even eight, know. I think it's like eight million. Fuck. We'll go with that. Do you know, on the whole Ireland, six. Aye, aye. And, we're, aye. and people are saying we're getting overcrowded over here. I know. Yeah, it's mad. Uh, I, d- I did. Um, one thing that also irritated me was um, there was a wee shop down the street from where I was standing for most of the week, and I went there obviously uh, to get you know healthy yeah. uh, choices like <laughs> yeah. you know a bag of kettles and um, <laughs> the ev- nearly everything that was at the front of their shelves was out of date. Shut up! But but they had stuff that was in date, so they're just being like Buy this. real scabby we'll like sell, you know yeah. this is two months out and I was like. But I checked it just because I got a vibe in the shop. You know when you go in this shop, you just know. You know when you go in this shop, the shopkeeper the... looks like the shop, and you just go right. <laughs> I I went into it, and they had um, they were selling bananas, and sort of near the side of the bananas, there was one banana. You know when, you know when you see like a banana or another piece of fruit, and it's, the rest of them are fine. Uh, the rest of them are sitting going. Uh, pick me. I would make a great addition to your kitchen. Right? <laughs> and there's one just sitting there going, fuck. Oh. <laughs> so there's this wee, uh, there was a wee fucked banana, and I went, uh, this is rank. And uh, so I, I checked the dates, and there was nearly everything was out. Jesus and I was like, Nick. I'm so glad I've been buying stuff out of here for so the last two days. You don't, you don't gig much in London then? No. Never over. Is that going to put the lid on it there, do you think? Uh, well, Depends on the I, would, I would go over, if I was doing gigs, I would like to go over and do like, 
I would do like a weekend. I wouldn't Aye. do any more than that. Yeah. I just, I, I can't be fucked with. It's, it's so much. <coughs> it's so much effort. <coughs> Everything is so much effort. You go. Even if you're from the city here, that's like the countryside when you go to London. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Oh, yeah, so yeah. It's like, like it's not like your like culture it. when you go to London. You can't you, you, even <laughs> like. We, so we took the car when we. Yeah, definitely. We took the car when when we were there last year when I was doing gigs in England. And it, it's not. It, it's just a cunt to get around anyway. It doesn't. It, it literally just doesn't matter what way you do because yeah. if you're on trains, it's a nightmare. If you're in a car, it's a nightmare. What about Liverpool? Lo- I like Liverpool. Yeah, Liverpool Liverpool's game. Liverpool f- felt a wee bit similar to here in terms mm-hmm. of that, but also just just less <clears> the size of it. Liverpool and, and Glasgow were meant to be sort of like here. Like. Glasgow was great. I loved Glasgow, and I liked Same. it when I was over this year as well. Glasgow, mm-hmm. like, and it isn't just because of this, but they have this ice cream shop in Glasgow called Loops and Scoops. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get to go to it last time I was over. <laughs> What's it called? I think it's called Loops and Scoops. It's fucking disgusting. It's what great. about Giuseppe's and Belfast? Giuseppe's. Is it Giuseppe's? We were told for years, say, our family from Iredown, New Lodge, we used to come up and they always brought us this Italian ice cream. Um, where, where is Giuseppe's? Is that Victoria's? Maybe. Is it? I bet you it is. It's Victoria's. It could be. It could be. It's like real there's, Italian there's ice few, cream. There's a few Italian places, like there's Fosco's. On the like, Falls Road, is it? Oh, is it the one? It's just in the corner. Is it the one at Cavendish Street, is it? Like opposite the hospital. I wouldn't know the. I just know that there was. Just there's Ro- so there's Rossi's, and there's Fusco's. Rossi's sounds. Yeah, Fusco's they do chips as well. They have a chippy, um, and then there's all the the Ravos chippies. Let's be serious. Um, you know about somebody falling there. We were doing a gig. Two nights ago in the sunflower, and the wee girl at the front just rode off like, you just know that they're not. Mm. She's on her phone, then she stopped and they laugh at you. <laughs> yeah. And she <laughs> fell down the steps. Like, do, 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 do. And we no, were, down, down the we steps, steps in the oh mate that's that's nasty she like banged her head got up and under the toilet and then came back out then sat down at the front and fell asleep oh my god here do you know what's great if, you have, if you've just smacked your head a nap <laughs> <laughs> the lads all making jokes about it okay, I okay, Ian Thompson got the the, the mic stand started tapping her with hello oh my <laughs> god <laughs> her sitting there in town with bleeding probably, probably yeah somebody fucking fell asleep. asleep that's what you don't do isn't it when somebody knocks out you check yeah you try and get him awake yeah it can yeah, be it can so be she concussion be so. <laughs> R.I.P oh my I, god I. um I remember somebody we killed that night. Somebody, somebody <laughs> fucking, somebody fucking fell asleep like that when I did a gig in Lambeg ages ago. Uh, like, I mean, was that like last summer? I can't even fucking remember when that was. But it was fucking like everyone was having a good time, and this place was raucous. And this guy just wiped Stands out, out like just wa- just wiped out in the middle of it. And I mean, there came a point where I was like, "What's his name?" And say they said like I know I'll be a wanker and say his name was Bruce or something. I was literally just going like there came a point in the gig where it was like Bruce <laughs> and he's just I guess <laughs> and people are shaking him and all and going is this con dead yeah, like actually pulse. is he dead because it so was a guy fucking mental. in the the boiler room and the, uh, fell asleep standing up. Who, I don't know who was on Mickey might have been Mickey I th- I, 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 and he fell asleep standing up. But what happened was Mickey gave him abuse. So the whole place busted out laughing. Uh, he woke up laughing with everybody. Oh my god! <laughs> he thought he got the joke. What and a fucking back rocket! <laughs> he was the centre of it. Jeez! And they always land. Two boys always follow me. Uh, some guy. Uh, the first time I did up there, some guy fucking followed me out of the place and like Betty. aggressively kissed my face here, and and like like licked. My oh, lock, like, I had sweat. Like, like licked my lock, and I was like, <laughs> and then like, Chloe was fucking. <laughs> Disgusted at this cunt, right? Uh, and so was I. I was going, I'm gonna uh, fucking murder this guy, right? Oh. And uh, and and then like a couple of months later, goes Chloe goes, yeah, yeah. Like that time you let that guy, uh, like, <laughs> <laughs> I went let him. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. It was a moment. I let him live. I didn't uh, fucking. I didn't let him do that. Like, oh, it was fucking mental. Oh, did you get it out two gigs boys holding you? Like I, when I'm MCing too, you're up and down, up and down. Ah, this yeah. guy's holding you down. We to hear this for a joke. Oh, so much. Say that's yeah. when you get up. That's boys Stand funny, you know. He's trying to remember his pen to get into his phone. Ah. Uh, and he's, and now I just chase him. Go away from me. Uh, how? So like hold on, what's my pen? And he's asking me. And I'm looking at him going mad. <laughs> how did you find uh, Nuri or night? Don't, it. don't say sad enough. Um, <laughs> no, I, it was alright. Do you know what? We were uh, we actually were late. 
because me and Fenton uh, took the journey together and we didn't watch the sat nav, so we were on the motorway. We were meant to take a turn, and it was like we were 20 minutes away, and then it was 40 all of a sudden. Oh, we like, fuck. So <laughs> Fenton so had to go straight up as soon as we landed, but I had, I actually did. Did you ever kill your first one, and then you have another one coming in and start to knock you? Because you're like, right, I'm more nervous now for the second one. I'm more, like, I'm more likely to do it the other way. I'll, the first one, I'd be like, but if it goes can't get, can't get going, and then the second one, I'm like, right, I better smash this here. Aye. You know, oh, you got them. Do, doing the doing the two is is weird. I've been doing a lot recently. I don't know what to make of it yet. It's weird. I it's good. It's, it's good. It's brilliant. But then you're thinking, did I say this to the script yet? Aye, so or there's like, definitely like, see, it was it was different in Straban, I suppose, because I don't know, it, like both both those sets were like. They they were sort of different. Uh they they were different for loads of different reasons. Like the the first half, the the the, the sound desk the was sound fucked, vent, so and then and then we got that. But when we got that going, the atmosphere oh, was banging. And then in the second one, some people weren't able to make it to the gig who bought tickets. People, and then, I, uh, but it, and it was grand. But the first one was banging. But what I in my experience, fucked up it, the fucking second one it was my fault because. And I said, I had to apologize to Kieran Frank. He killed the first one, and mm. then I struggled the second one, but it was my fault. Because when I was emceeing, it was the first time I emceed two shows in a row. Uh-huh. So do you know whenever you emcee a show, you have the audience? And then after the break, you still have them. Yeah, yeah. So I came in oh, after, right, yeah, thinking yeah. it was just the second half. Yeah. So I came yeah. out too dirty, <clears throat> too <clears throat> aggressive. Yeah. Uh-huh. And people were like, what the f- I don't uh-huh. do the welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah. No Treat finesse, the, just yeah. no kissing. Yeah, no kissing. <laughs> and I felt it, and then... Because it was day in my hole, I went, and please welcome to the stage. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was just like, ah. Uh, Do you ever see, you see whenever, see whenever, because I don't MC a lot, but I've started doing it recently. It's far, it's far worse when something eats shit when you're MCing aye. than it is when you're just on it. Because oh, when I'm just on, I'm always trusting myself going, here, fuck. You know, aye. if something eats shit, I'll get them back. Yep. When I'm MCing, I'm going, I fucked this for me and the next person. And there comes a point where I just, I'm like, Welcome, Miss Cunt. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm going in the fucking bury my head. In the, we uh, do that now. Um, we have a wee thing now where, like, I brought him on to booze the last day. Mm. <laughs> he just did a character assassination of me, the one before. Right, right. We did right. show. And each other to we start did, now. So people are waiting for it now. Do you know what I mean? Right, right, right. Introducing him some good. of the dirtiest <laughs> things. And oh, horrib- it's horrible. horrible. So like, how long have you been at it, though? How long, like, four years. And how long have you been at it? You well, about seven months after uh, me. I, I came about six, seven months after you. And I remember me first... I told Ronan I was going to do it and then avoided him for three months <laughs> and then he cornered me one day. the same school. <laughs> right, okay. Right. And Connor Keyes did the same. We had actually done it five years after That Connor. sounds like they don't go there though. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just like he said, we just leave the kids in the same <laughs> vague place. <laughs> Car park. <laughs> make yeah. away from there. Make room, mate. And I did the same with Keyes as well. Keyes was asking me but Keyes sort of that long in the sport that mm. he knew he just asked me if you want to do it let me know. Ah. Like I got out of the first one because my granny was sick or something on oh, yeah, and I yeah. knew what I was at. <laughs> he did the exact same to me. He wanted to do it. I says, right, I can get you a gig up in Keyes. He had a wee open mic in the basement. Right, of okay. An- Anoma. And I <laughs> used to see him turn and just walking wild fast away from me. Just ignore me for like five weeks. And, and then, then you just took it. And, and then you carded me one day and I was I like, right, we'll do it. And I, and I remember I wrote out a piece and we went to this sort of community centre to kind of practice. And I thought it was a genius setup because I was at it six months. Ah, I, 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 I'll, yeah. I'll, yeah. I'll mark you out of this. <laughs> yeah. I, like you had, you had all the sort of confidence and expertise of, 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 of a 15 year old who tried acid. Twice, <laughs> yeah, it was going to be my first time. Yeah. <laughs> you're and you know, not great. But this is going to be like acid. What I've noticed, but if you've never done it before, you do look at somebody that's had it, even that's done it twice. Uh, I was like, wow, because yeah, it's, yeah. it's all to do that first time. But I could never yeah. have done it without, without you. Like there was no, never a pathway or an avenue or. There was never. It, it just, what was the chances? It's such a fucking odd. Going back to those first few gigs. <sighs> They're tight. It's fucking rough, like. Like my first ten, I was saying to him, I remember being nervous throughout it. No, usually when you get up, you can be a bit nervous, but once you start your grand, uh, no, nah. the, uh, the whole way through, I was going, I might be able to do this. Watching watching people's first few gigs is fucking tight. rough, like I hate it's it. It's tight. I don't. I like. It's because it, I think I find it hard to watch those because it reminds me of me doing mine. Aye. Yeah. And I I suppose like I always think my. I wasn't nervous about being on stage or anything because I was used to doing yeah. that. But, like, the first gig I did, quite a lot of people came to that 
who I worked with in uh, one of the bars that I gigged in, uh, a lot a lot of people came from like it was like a club night, and so it was like all the people who worked for the DJ essentially. Yeah. So it was like you know the DJ the pressure P- was added the, P- the PR your very first. Yeah, it was like the the guys and girls that did PR for him at that time came. My mates were there from my band. There was a lot. There was, I mean, I'm saying a lot of people. If if I brought in twelve or fifteen people. Aye. Aye. In the room, though, where there was maybe only 40, mm-hmm. yeah. there was a lot of people there to see me do my first gig. Yeah. Like, and I was going... I was the same. I brought family and everything. And it, and it went, it went like, very well. Aye. But I did ages, and I didn't know that you're supposed to do... <laughs> what did you do, like 20 minutes? I did 22 minutes. Jeez, your like first 20, gig? And, and it was like, you're, you're meant to do seven. Aye. I did and, nine and a half, I think, yeah. in the chicken box. I came off, and the guy who was running at that time, and McHugh's, was like, great gig. Uh, if you fucking do that again, though, you'll, <laughs> like, people won't book you. And I was like, well, do what? And he was sort of explaining that to me, because I think at that time there wasn't really the same, there just wasn't the same like infrastructure or like... Either like, way it is now. Like, you could probably Google all that now. Aye. And then you might have been able to, but probably wouldn't have found no, much. you wouldn't have got much. And it was rare. And I, so I sort of think... And, and then the next the next guy I did, I did something very similar in a pavilion, but it was, it was a totally different set. Like I, I was, you were going up at I was writing, what? like... Bullet. I was writing, like, totally different sets. I thought that's what you had to do. Hmm. So, like, my first so four... So did I. I didn't want to go back to the same room doing the same stuff, realising I need yeah. to work on this, but... My first four gigs were, like... Four different gigs, like four sets, and Aye. so man, you had like, your hour ready. Yeah, it was it was a lot, like, and uh, it was nuts because I think once I booked the first one, I had a lot of time, mm. so I wrote different Aye. things leading up to it, and um, uh, so like one was like all all that stuff was about like first gig I did was all about choices I'd made that led me to fucking being on stage that night, Aye. and then the second one was about being unemployed, and then the third one was about like. I think it was about being recently single, but it was like a whole set. I was all about that. Yeah. I wouldn't say that, man. <laughs> See what you're on about first timers. Like the two worst type of comedians that come off stage, like first timers, you know that fair play to them getting up and then they come over and ask you to critique them. And you're like, keep at it, man, keep at it. Yeah. But I think the worst is when somebody goes up, dies in their hole, and when they come off the stage, they give you a wee wink. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And they literally think they were amazing, and I'm going, no self awareness at all. Yeah. Like, I, I think I think there was potentially more self awareness when we were starting. Because uh, people yeah. people would go up sometimes. So I I would say my first two gigs went pretty well. Mm-hmm. Third one was okay. Fourth one. <laughs> that's the one. Was the <laughs> first one. That's one has to happen. It was it was the first one where I sort of went. Maybe I should go back to some of the stuff I was doing. <laughs> my first. That day. stuff was actually quite good. We did a we did a new material there the other night. Them two was killed, and this is the way I am. I, I record myself and now I can listen to myself now I can force myself off. like I was doing a gig in Derry last week I listened to the last set I did there because I recorded uh-huh. it to see right I don't want to do the same stuff but uh, somebody sent me a video of it and I watched it the, the way I took the mic out I turned it off I was even disgusted how I took oh, the man, mic off I, I, I hear watching myself so, uh, I, 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 I didn't watch I'll, anymore I'll happily watch he myself he can happily watch uh, himself I hear it oh, I hear even it. the way I just pulled the mic off I, I can I can like I like, I'll say this. I like uh, when we do these podcasts. I love seeing the clips Aye. because the clips I know Aye. are gonna be wee bits where you go, oh, "Fuck, that was actually a good wee bit," yeah. right? So I love the clips. See, like uh, I watched back uh, one of my sets in Bangor there the other week, and I was just sitting watching it, our Kevin film, and I was like, <laughs> and it was things like that where normally I have the guitar, so I just stand still Aye. at the mic, so you can't really this I've. What I'm saying now, I'm not using the guitar really, so I'm watching myself and going, "Why is my arms Aye. like that? Everything, and, and everything. The, That's got to be different, Dave. That's got to be yeah. harder. But if you if you're used to having like a, sort of, I'm used to standing. Do you know what I mean? With just my hand watching on yourself, the just, on the neck yeah. of the guitar, they're like that or like that. I had so like, the the hands just fucking, now. you know. <laughs> and now it's like I'm doing. I'm doing things that I find Melton that other comedians do. <laughs> because I had a thing where I just had to constantly rub my face. Just remember that? First fucking six months. I was just fucking all I just tend to play with my hair or something. I did a gig one night where I got like six applause breaks. It was like one of the best and I was like driving home thinking this is it. Yeah, yeah. And then Big Phantom sent me and I says to him I'm not even going to watch it. 
Because as soon as I see it, I'm just ruining oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Or you listen to it back and you're like, fuck, that was terrible. I don't know what it is. I, I just hear you're, it. You're your worst fucking yeah. critique or anything. The, the best thing to do is get other people to like make the clips out of stuff and just watch your clips. <laughs> and go, the highlights only match of the Rock star. Just a big... Because <laughs> you know well, when comedians get there in the green room, we don't want to hear how brilliant you did. Yeah. That's the death. Tell you what, though. T- I, well, that is the thing, but I'll tell you what. Like, do you ever see that clip? Have you ever seen that clip? You know Nick Jonas, you know the singer? Yeah. No. He's an actor as well. You don't know him? Jo- well, he's, he's one of the Jonas brothers, right? Don't do the ballot. You're going like... <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. You're going like... <laughs> See, see on the bus. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's like so. There's a, there's there's a couple of notorious clips of this cunt. Uh, <laughs> now ever ever oh, like everyone loves this guy, right? Right. Good looking. Uh, yeah, he's a good looking guy. I you know, I was about to say he's cool looking, but he's a wee dick. But anyway, right? He, you know, but he sort of you know he comes out in a leather jacket. But there's an infamous clip of him. I think playing at the country music awards or something. Have you seen this? Where he comes out to play a guitar solo. Rough. Mate, it's actually like it's agony. Like there's actually it wasn't even it, auto tuned for the TV. It's so bad <laughs> that there's a guy who can really play the guitar has done like a, a, a whole YouTube like a ten minute video of how to fuck up like Nick Jonas. Like there's a whole and it's and it's, and it's done millions of views. Like you know what I mean? Uh, but there's like this bit. He comes out to play this and it's supposed to go like down 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 down. All right, and he comes out and it just goes. <laughs> it's really bad <laughs> and you go do you know cat. what I bet you like I bet you Nick Jonas never watches that oh I bet you he never watches nah, it because yeah. he just goes nah. I'm uh, Nick Jonas aye. fuck it exactly. right 100%. and uh, and one of his brothers actually Chloe Chloe and I ended up watching do you ever see these things they're called small desk concerts where it's just like it'll be in like a bookshop or somewhere small it's what What's NPR? Public Radio American. Oh right, it's like we right. Sorry, and it's like they're just like we. It's it's like we like uh what do you call it like a unplugged kind of right easy yeah. acoustic right. set of something yeah. that maybe normally has a lot more production yeah. on it. And they did one. The Jonas Brothers did one. Now they were pretty good. One of them though, on the one they singing. <laughs> He's staying the living right. We <laughs> we bit we bit pitchy right. But I bet you he just goes. Aye, fuck it, but see, aye, comedians. Aye. I think comedians were sitting always going, "Can't when <laughs> wash yourself back," and you're like, "You ball." Oh, you bad know I, what I, mean? I I hate it. Like aye. whenever we did the ones, how long did it take me to do the fucking when we when we did the Ulster Hall? How long did it take me to actually watch that and come back to you and go, "Can we lose? You know this minute or that minute or what?" Was that it the fight did? Uh, no, the the fucking my show on it last year when we filmed it. Michael had filmed it and he's like waiting for about three months on me going because <laughs> I didn't want to fuck it. It, it, there, there was I was busy but there definitely was one or two times where I went I should probably watch that now uh, and then I go you know you go to press play and you go I could, you know what I, I, could, I could go out now and clear the patio up it's like you're doing the same you know? for uni or whatever yeah yeah you'll just do everything off. else yeah. for Christ and age I don't you sit that. down then you're alright oh, oh, see, the, see the shit that you get done when you're doing that's when not you're, real when you have actual stuff to do, yeah. all the stuff you don't like doing yeah. clean the house twice I know yeah I'll, I'll, I'll make something amazing for dinner on those days <laughs> it's something that you have to slave over and the, the time's know? still ticking away and you're not getting involved yeah. until you're not doing what you're meant to be doing it's... I just got a wee a wee bit done like that yesterday though where I actually did sit and fucking get it right. finished so today and you feel great today is like a big dick day yeah it's uh, good it's that's good. great when you feel when you feel you've got yeah. that, that actual accomplished song. what you've accomplished song what uh what have you got coming up? Got a play um, coming up very soon. Hey, we're doing up that orange and new green. That's next month. Oh, I've seen the poster the for it. Where, where is it? In Letter County and Green and Theatre. Letter County. I'm there it's right it's so close to you, isn't it? Close yeah. enough, but she's a hard sell. I opened for Pat. I opened for Patty there, and I was mm. like, the, the, the guy I was working came in and says they're very low form compared to usual. And then we realised it was the same fucking night as Chrysler. Remember the whole? Oh, Jesus, so yeah. People were looking at the, the body counts where we were on stage. And this time it was the same night as the Champions League final? The Champions League fucking final. Where it's a hard sell. <laughs> so it's, I'm like, it's quite, oh, a, quite a different I'm good, but I'm not competing event, to be fair. <laughs> we're not that good. Um, <laughs> I'm in dailies this week with Shane. In dailies in Oma? Aye. It's good, isn't it? It's great. Great room. I love it. Yeah, you destroyed on there the last I was good last time. I did have a good gig on there last time. Just mental, you can't see anybody. 
Aye, it's the, the, the light, the brightest light. The light just goes. Aye, and it's like serious. I remember, like, I was literally talking to some cop in the front row, and I can only see them from like there. So I'm like, I, d- I have no idea what his face looks like. You have like. to look good as if you are. Yeah, I was. I think he was wearing on people's eyes. He was wearing. Do you know what he? He was wearing really rare clothes. He looked like. Do you remember Fab Lollies? Mm. Yeah. He looked. Yeah. He was dressed like. <laughs> he was. He was dressed like their packaging. I was sort of like, I'm going. <laughs> That's mad. What goes through your head when you're up there? Isn't it, mate? Yeah, yeah like I. Uh, yeah, because like the other night, um, when we were in London, I came out to. So there was a couple of lads in the front row were wearing like uh, stonewashed denim shorts and like uh, white goddies, no socks. And I'm like. In my yeah. head, I'm like, unacceptable, uh, right? Uh, Half the slag reasons. Uh, and I went to, and then as I literally goes, oh, here, shorts. And then I went, I'm kind of being a cunt here. <laughs> I, I like, actually had this way attack of conscience where I went, and then it meant that I actually... You didn't have that at the start, did you? What? That conscience? They, no. <laughs> you just I did the other night. For whatever reason, it just went, mm, uh, right? And I went, I'm standing with the mic going, I shorts and fucking... <laughs> And I'm going, don't be a dick, don't be a dick, don't be a dick. And I'm like, your fucking <laughs> legs are on show. Like, it was so balls. And then during a the podcast, I actually addressed it and went, I came out here to fucking cut the two of you into bits. Aye. And then went, I don't need to. I'm and that was funny. And I'm be, uh, people laughed then, but I ate shit for the first like two minutes of comedy Aye. of the stand-up before. And then people laughed during a podcast because I was like, this was the fucking... The inner monologue that was going on is me sitting going, don't be a dick to these lads, I'm fucking dying. You're going to love they're, they're the probably, They're probably trying to enjoy their fucking Friday night. Aye. And instead, I'm going to fucking slay. You have that sometimes? I you you get the, the angel on one side and the devil. Uh, the yeah. devil's I got stuck in there. there. Yeah. There was like four boys with mullets. Oh, you, you got to work out. Oh, you, have to, you, have to, you have to address a mullet. Like, right. Right, a mullet, it deserves a dress. <laughs> do you know, do you know, <laughs> do you, were you, did you hear that bit in Yuri the other night? There was the. There, did you see the guy in the, the first gig that had the mullet? Aye. He was sitting down the back, so he was sitting down the back. Drinking Buckfast? Aye. And Sweet sitting Lord. sitting very much sitting very much like on his own. And I so, would be. I got and, a beer off. So there, so there was he asked me, did I want a beer? There was a great moment. There was a great moment where uh 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 Leanne Leanne was talking about uh she was talking about like uh drugs and stuff about Coke. And she said something, you know, blah blah blah. Has anybody tried Coke? And the mullet guy uh, is it, he literally did this. He went, <laughs> right? and I went, and, and I was standing. I was the only one behind him, so I saw it. No one else saw it. So I said about it when I got up. I was chatting away, and then I was chatting to these uh, women. You know they have that bit over to the right of the stage. Uh-huh. So I was chatting to these women over here, and blah blah blah. And she said something about the guy with the mullet, and I was like, all right, fucking steady on, like mm. you know, fucking slagging other audience members here, right? And she goes, that's my, I was her man. Oof. And then her mate, I goes, why is fucking sitting? I was like, sure, sit further apart, weirdos, <laughs> right? Are you couldn't have got further apart. And her mate goes, the, the had a row. And I was like, <laughs> oh, lovely. Yes. Lovely. Pour me out. I'm, get, I'm getting the Kit Kats out being like, <laughs> oh, eat tea. That's oh, mad who you can draw that out. Just oh, ask. brilliant. Like it was when you're brilliant. MCing, it's just ask. Try not to be funny. Ask questions. Just ask. And, and you'll, you get to see that. Them two. Oh, man, I loved that. They were, it was a great gig. They'd had a row. And I was like, is it a, I was like, is it a, is it a real row? Or is it like a funny row that you can tell us about? And it was real. Oh, I right. not speaking. I, 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 I know. I went. We're st- I, I'm still going. Well, I'm know, still I was going. Like, who, I was like, ready. I was going like, oh, who's who, driving? Who, <laughs> who, I was like, who took who took longer getting ready? Was it you or was it him and his fucking mullet? Right, we're <laughs> <laughs> having a bit of crack, and then it was like, oh, and and that's when I said, was it was it a row like that, like a wee fake fucking, you know, you're getting ready and somebody's running late row, or is it real? You know, somebody fucking, <laughs> and what did somebody do? fucking doing something, and your woman was like, <laughs> and, and she was, I said. Your woman said something about them getting married or mate, and I was like, "Your mate loves it, by the way." She's, <laughs> she's in it. She oh, was, uh, her, her mate was. Her mate, she's winding up. Her mate was wearing like uh, he said you're like a bastard. like a pink, you know, like a pink a pink fucking <laughs> top or whatever. So I was just like, "Fucking pink loves it, it's like pink shirt, like <laughs> she fucking loves it." Oh, it was so funny. There was there was a few moments like that. There was a, there was a great moment the other night as well when Jordan uh, Robinson t- got t- scolded. Do you remember that? He did, yeah. <laughs> Jordy, Jordy, Jordy was talking, and the and we were having the crack in the back room, and the fucking door just swings up. Will you fuck up, Jordan? Shut the fuck up, Jordan. Yeah. Jordan just went 
The rest yeah. of the night. The rest. I know the rest. The rest of us were fucking carrying on. Jordan just gets singled out. For, oh, yeah. He's the most innocent looking one in the room. Just here, you fuck it's up. Something great. He was yeah. wrecked and I sat through the two shows. Aye. Jordan, Do you know what was great? Like though? a Donny figure. Back I was talking about this earlier. <laughs> how great were those fucking those ice lollies? Oh, because that room was fucking roasting. Roasting. I had to turn a big fan on. I and mean, then my the pops fucking. Went my, I was like, I normally don't have fans in the dressing room. <laughs> Turn that one Turn on. on. Um, it was feet. fucking roasting. But the pops, pops were. Oh, the ice pops were serious, weren't they? I was a fucking, I was such a throwback, but a great time. I was uh, fucking sweating the bag of myself. And then, uh, but there was a moment where I said these, so there was like two couples in the front row. I was like, have you been chatted to already? And they were like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and and one guy had like you could just see the edge of a tattoo. Now I mean I couldn't even see what it was. It's the edge of a tattoo hanging at the bottom. And I went, I'm sure I can ring something out of your rare tattoo there, mm. right? Mm. And he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I goes, what what is your tattoo? And he pulls the, he pulls the sleeve up and he goes, it's a Viking. And I thought he said it's a Viking. And I went, it's not like. Right? <laughs> I, I feel like I feel like your tattoo artist is absolutely <laughs> fucked <laughs> fuck you in the arse here, right? Here, man. And, he, and, I, and he goes, it is, it is. And I went, oh, sorry, it's Viking. And he goes, yeah, I went, sorry. And he goes, like, Norse. And I went, right, right. And uh, so I said to him, that's right. I goes to him, uh, I goes, what is the tattoo? That's right. The first thing I said to him was, what is, what's your tattoo? And he goes, anything you like. <laughs> and I went, I'd like it to be an answer to my fucking question. <laughs> and then I said to this other guy, I goes, and what do you do, mate? And he goes, property. <laughs> and I went, I went, well, at least working on property seems to have made you good crack. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking hard work. A couple of them were like, Aye. like, looked like they were going to help up me. And I'm going, I go, I don't fucking say anything. I don't delve into the crowd, man. I don't really like the crowd. No. I've started the MC for that reason. Right, 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 I, right, I, right. I, I know it's something I need to improve upon. I remember I, me and you were doing a gig down the country, hey, and. Mullingar. Mullingar. That was an experience. Where's Mullingar? Where is Mullingar? By the way? What do you call Joe Dolan country? It's, it's in... 200 miles from everywhere. Joe Dolan country? <laughs> That's <laughs> unbelievable. That's a good statues and all. We're, when just you're dri- we're just driving into Hugo Duncan. <laughs> 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 Fucking unbelievable. <laughs> County Duncan. Oh, man. We were the worst Joe gig Dolan country. Ever. The worst. <laughs> where is it, though, like in relation? Where is that? Mullingar's in. Is it like, what's, like, what's near it? No. Where's me? Where's me? What's near it? It's Nothing. fucking it's probably oh, really? seven hour round trip for fucking really? ten or holes. Oh, I hit me. It. It's probably one of them places no. in Ireland. Do you ever just get brought this point from any coast? It's probably one of them places. It just, it's it, like right in the middle. Aye. Once you know comedy, you know what a room's like. You can sort of come into a room and just go, oh. Yeah. Like we can chat about the jail after us, but. Um, <laughs> the jail was weird though, because it's. You every, the day in the jail. But, ev- but everything, everything in the jail was there for it to be class, aye. apart from. A, like sound basically because uh, of the cause it, it, to be well, the microphone was like a, a child's karaoke machine yeah like, one of those like, it's oh, like, no, like no, uh, 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 and the light yeah. was and I just knew yeah. but we are on about fucking boy, Mullingar. It was Mullingar so we, we landed down and, and straight away I was like oh Jesus because your man said this you can get away with anything down here as long as you don't say the n word you like the darkness uh, yeah. like the, the darkness. north is that what he's talking about and, uh, we were like we're hardly going to and he goes, no, I mean knacker. And I was like, is that not K? Because <laughs> there's travellers fucking going it all the time. And then he brought us down. We were walking oh past the God. smoke bay. And but I here, the other M word, ground. <laughs> the actual M word. Oh, oh, That's what he meant. Aye. That's what he meant. Oh so I landed him. God. And he brought us. We thought, we, were, we walked past the smoke bay to this door and it wouldn't open. And I said, is it in here? And he goes, no, this is it. And it was all, you know, like a uh, picnic <coughs> table. So you had half the people facing away from me. The stage was tape on the ground. Stay inside that tape. Aye, we box. Control. Uh, Stay con- inside like, the tape. Uh, aye. <laughs> and, a, and, a, and, a, and a, the mic was cordless straight away. We're like, oh, Jesus. That's usually going. a bad sign. Like, aye. So, and then he introduced me. He told a joke about a wee girl that got raped locally. And he says, aye, she got raped twice. As if that happened, ladies and gentlemen, as if that happened. Blamed her for being like. And then called me the up. WKD, then called me up. And I forgot it? my surname. <laughs> Welcome to stage, uh, Ronan. Yeah, <laughs> come on. And then I got up and dived my hole for like, it was five minutes in, but there was two skinheads. Just, and it was one of these ones you knew, say there was a girlfriend sitting on that side and the boyfriend's that and I'm on the stage. You knew he's giving faces about me and on. Oh my side, God. She's doing all that there. And, but there was two boys, the skinheads, and they were looking at me as if they wanted to kill me. 
Now, Sandy, I was going to say to them, what the fuck's the problem, boys? Oh. You know what I mean? Jesus. I used to be a cage wrestler. You know what I, mean? I was like, Oh, my God. And when I was coming off the stage, I was walking past, and he said to me, Arsenal 3 2. And I went, What? And I looked up and the match on behind the stage. Oh, my God. But it was, <laughs> the two boys were just watching the match. It was one of them gigs as well. Remember the boy came out from the. the, the there was like right. an, a, a room off to the side of us, and it was a locked door as far as we can, we can see. Uh. And that was a little retry to go. This man comes out and he's a half man, half fucking animal kind right. of thing. And he was rearing a skip and all. Started telling just like the worst. He had holy water in his hands. Ah, and was mental fucking, man. Was I, mental. At, at that point, I was genuinely scared. I, was I think like, the guy like, runs it. It was barred from every gig in Dublin. So he oh manages a bar down there and he took it upon himself. It, it was, it was I will not go there. That's crazy. No, it was, it was one I am like on the car on the way home. It was one I am like almost like an alien abduction. I, I wasn't. I knew I'd lost time. I wasn't really sure what had happened. I <laughs> and none of us dared speak of it. We were like kind of. I remember Pete Giffen and all went down. We warned him. But then, do you know where you do it? You go, hey, stage a stage. Yeah, yeah. You know what gig I mean? is a gig, and you go, I need my time. And straight after it, they were just texting us, going, "What the actual fuck?" fuck but, but you know the thing about it is, if you lived in Dublin, uh, it, it would be quite a good gig because he'll fill your boots with free you drink. Oh, like the aye, minute aye, you get down, he's he pushing the fucking drink aye, in front of you. It's no good when you're driving, like. Nah. <laughs> See, <laughs> fuck, I worry about stuff. I always worry when somebody tells me they'll stick a feed on. I'm like, uh, pay me. Exactly. Don't, do you know what? Exactly. I don't do gigs to mm. eat in your bar. Mm. Uh, you know, oh, mate. Your man came down with They donuts, want you to do it for free. Didn't he? he came down with a, like the starchiest, biggest donuts you've ever seen. Like, that's the food I'm going to fucking yeah, eat yeah. before going on. Uh, it's, a, it's also like, <laughs> I, I've, I've done gigs where people go like, or, or you know, this used to happen whenever we were doing weddings for like music at weddings. People would say, you know, how much is it? And you would tell them, and they go, but here we're, you know, we can stick you on a dinner. I'm like, uh. see the money you're gonna spend on feed me. Mm. Add that in to the, uh. the budget that you think you have, uh. and then it'll be closer to the budget I just told you it is. Uh. Like that, that winds me up. But see, Man, I used to do bouncy castle, renting them out. And you put a <laughs> You've never sure keep that to yourself forever. <laughs> That's unbelievable. So you'd leave them out and you'd come back and they would say, Hey, it was raining, you know. And I'm going, right. Can I take <laughs> <laughs> You wouldn't deduct it was raining for two hours today, you wouldn't deduct thirty percent off the I'm like, Are you serious? That's that's the that's the classic Tesco take back story. <laughs> Here, I checked and was thinking. You had it, though. <laughs> you sort of had it, though. I got a... Oh, my God. Somebody contacted me there. Um, after we do the caution day. Great gig. You'll love it. You're in okay. September. Really good gig. And a guy texted me there yesterday. says, man, I couldn't make the gig. Uh, I bought three tickets. Any chance I can get three for the next show instead? I was going, man, that's not how it works. You yeah. can get a refund right up to the gig. But yeah, yeah. Now you're asking for it back. I says, 30 people didn't show that night. I'm not going to start refunding people at the uh, side not to come. We, what a weird... Why do I people think that? And even when I said that, I came back with, well, you know, uh, no, and I was like trying to get angles of getting his like, th- 15 no, pounds. You, you haven't turned like, up, man. Uh, That's up. fucking crazy. Yeah, I, uh, that's the worst thing about rum <coughs> shows. We, <coughs> me and Shane were at a gig. We were actually talking about this when Willie was on the other night. Sort of watching Willie and uh, uh, Shane and I were talking about... Um, I can't remember why I came up in conversation, but we were talking about some old, like, people that were doing comedy when we started. Mm. Uh, people that, you know, dropped in, did three gigs here, four yeah. gigs there. Haggy. And you kind of remember some of them, and it's funny for me and Shane to sort of go, fuck, do you remember that cunt, right? <laughs> and, uh, or that guy looks like this cunt, right? So we're sitting talking about a few of them, and then we remember this guy uh, who used to do gigs, and one night in the pavilion... He was an older man, like I mean, if when we were twenty, this guy was fifty odd, right? Um, and this guy when we were twenty, oh my god! <laughs> when I was about sorry, when I was about twenty five, when I was starting out or whatever, mm. this guy was fucking well, yeah, well, well in his fifties, I would say, right? Like, and uh, and he did a gig in the pavilion one night where he dropped two M bombs back to back, Jesus. like. Here it is. Here it is. is. And I'm, I, I you didn't catch it. And I remember. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, you know. You know. He said it, and everybody went. Uh, and then he goes, you know, like fucking, and said it again. It was like, and then he says to somebody, the, 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 yeah, yeah, the the, the, the last <laughs> joke he did. So that one obviously had shit that, that joke, and then the next joke he did, he basically says to some way girl in the crowd this line, which haunts me this day he goes if you were my daughter I'd still be bathing you <laughs> <laughs> 
and then and then goes it's horrible the funny and then goes Karen Bartlett I mean, you laughed Karen Bartlett oh man you come on and you're like we did a gig not so, so long you know ago too, hey, and a guy got up with a mask on an old man's mask because he was doing a bit about old men and it was all stolen jokes like old old jokes uh, and then when I like it looked he looked like a corpse standing up there like I even went up and said, what the fuck? I said, it was like being in a week. It was one time we looked at each other and just busted out laughing. Like, oh, it was like God. the corpse got up to do five watching. minutes in the room, you know what I mean? It was like, how long a minute yeah. before I get fucking paid? Finnegan's wig. Like, but he yeah. took the mask off and looked older on it. <laughs> <laughs> That's mental. I want to look older than this, man. <laughs> you don't need the mask, you know? Especially when you don't see no eyes. You know? It was just like a dead face up there. I think it's he mental. was just mental. Oh, that is mental. I think it was a f- maybe his first time. Uh, what was his first time? You know, first like, time. I remember the very first gig I was going to do, I was going to go up as a character. So it was, like, hiding behind but something. I know what you mean, But yeah. it's one of them, like, he, he was hoping not to draw attention to himself, but <laughs> surely if you're the only fucker in the room with, wearing with a mask, mask. Yeah, yeah, that you're, way. You're, you're drawing attention Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like you ever hear about, you know somebody gets badly burned. Or oh, they've been, <sighs> they're, they're burnt unrecognisable. I, you put me in the most rooms, and if somebody's got eighty percent burns, yeah. I'd be able to pick that fucker out. <laughs> they're bur- they're burnt recognizable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But his his mask was like <laughs> remember recognizable. V? Remember V, the old V. Remember? I you don't remember it. Remember the alien fucking V. V was a big big money series back in, in the eighties. What about the eighties? I was like. Uh, you don't even he- never heard of V. Gee, no, I don't think that so. was like everybody was on. They watched that. No. They wore red cost, red jumpsuits. Like the, the alien invasion and and but th- they would Who's take their skin off. But their head would handle. They would show you them start to take their skin off. But their head would be five times the size right. of when they got the man. Oh up. yeah, who who was in it? Uh, your man, the Beastmaster. What do you call him? The Beastmaster. <laughs> <laughs> That's all, f- all big faces back in. I was just say, I feel like he's been watching Manimal. porn. Like yeah. Uh, V, what is he? Yes, V. T. It was a real thing. It was, it was a big thing back in the day. Oh, it was too. massive. Everybody watched it. Was it English or like American? American? Oh, it was right? a big American. American. It was like. They were these aliens, but they were living as humans and everybody. Right, and okay. They were here to take over the world. I've it never like heard of this. I have <laughs> never heard of this. Do you recognize that? You would probably. Let me see. You might recognize your man because he did a thing and he out of had fame. He went and did There's a, a lot called. of hairspray in that photo. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude, shoulder I I, I do not People recognize from fucking this guy. Planet Zog, can we fucking shoulder pads and hair fucking so, spray? And fucking let's see, I I am the. They've big. actually done an, a new version of it. It wasn't great. Oh, here, 1983 miniseries. Uh, 83, so I would have uh, six, seven. 83, six, seven. Uh, seven. Let's see, I starring the big talk. somebody in it called Bonnie Bartlett, which sounds like what I would call myself. I was do you know feeling who's a little in bit it? Freddy Krueger? <laughs> Krueger's in it? What do you call your man at the Freddy Krueger? Robert England. He's in it? Yeah, he is in it. Uh, Frank Ashmore. So the main actor, the Donovan, you called him, he was the real... That's right, Donovan. He Here we like, go, oh, cast. See, they're in it. Mike Donovan, played by Mark Singer. Let's I'm there, see. and he would have did Jesus. a couple of big 80s. He Mate, that is fucking funny, because when you click on him, the first thing it says is a Canadian-born actor best known for his roles in the Beastmaster film series. There you go. <laughs> she like your knowledge of Mark Singer's career. Is pretty, <laughs> pretty impressive. He doesn't mean impression. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> do your Mark Singer impression. <laughs> Many people come to this academy, but only few succeed. This would probably mean more to me if I'd ever fucking seen it. <laughs> <laughs> really mean. Sh- Have you seen any of this shit? No, I've You're never too seen young, it. Lads. Yeah, You're too young. I mean, yeah. Well, I was born in '86, like. But I mean, nice. I, I still I sort of like. Seven to s- I'm ten years old. I still watch shit though from before I was born, obviously, but I've just never v. heard of it. V. Did you watch? Do you follow Planet of the Apes? No. 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 The new ones, because it was Aaron McCann. It was like I need to only watch this. Is what's the new Planet of the Apes? Just loved it. Dan has. You look like you were about to say something. You look like you were. <laughs> yes, me. Pregnant with ideas. <laughs> Dan. Yeah, that was me just loving it when I was young. No, I. Uh, I've never been into that at all. I think it's weird. It's very far fetched. We what do you call it? Was it Charlton Heston one of them? He was the yeah, very first the one. one. Damn you! He realized. And then at the end, you realize, yeah. He came back there if you put it on a different planet. Yeah. But a mate of mine. Do you ever have a friend or somebody you know that, if you recommend a movie and it's shit, they blame you as if you directed it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> or, 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 or a game. I mean, you're saying that I have a friend like that. I am like that. I uh, well, I have a friend. Like, <laughs> there was a time when there there was. <laughs> <laughs> there was a time when me and Chloe and two of my sisters would have gone to the cinema as a team, mm-hmm. and you got the team? pick. <laughs> you got you got the pick. Say like it was That's my pick, turn. right? I would pick, 
Yeah. And if, if the film was enjoyed by people, I would pick again. Aye. But then oh, if right. it wasn't, you it was were pressure. banished from picking. It was pressure. Uh, and, <laughs> oh, those uh, people take it serious? Yeah, so like there was, whatever we went to see something, they weren't overly impressed, and so I wasn't allowed to pick. And then one of our, one of my sisters brought us to see Hugh Jackman in like a, a political movie called something like The Candidate or something <laughs> like that. And it was fucking, or the, wasn't it called something like that, Dan? The Contender, the... Yeah. 10 minutes you sort of know don't you this 10 was, 15 minutes I thought this was going to go somewhere front runner front runner oh so boring oh my like and you're sitting there going I know it, I know it's not going to be Terminator Aye. but I'm going I want I'm hoping it's going to be fucking Aye. House of Cards or something I'm going to turn here it was right. fucking shit so she wasn't allowed to pick anymore but I am that guy like, so I the mate that I'm talking about too <laughs> we went to see Planet of the Apes together and he yeah. knew I was excited about it so he was going to be a cunt before we even started, like, and he came out and they went fucking fire fetched to society. It was a bit like it was a fucking monkeys riding horses. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at him going, I was when they were conversing over yeah. a game of chess that really got me. You know, <laughs> yeah. Do you know what's Go to the nearest circus, you'll get a monkey riding a fucking horse. <laughs> Set him on the horse. Even a, ba- even, even, horse. even a bad circus. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There are motorbikes in someone. Do you know what's a fucking great, a great the moment? <laughs> you know, in, in Superman 2. When the three of them cunts uh, land on the water, yeah, in Earth, and they're like, and he, mate, see Terrence Stamp playing Zod, mm. one of the best things that's ever happened. He lands, they walk across water, and he goes, "So this is Planet Houston." <laughs> <laughs> what Strange stuff. What a what a show. Oh, he's he's there's such there's a line in it where um, I think I think the U.S. president or like the head of the newspaper says something like, you know. You'll never defeat Superman, some uh, shit like that. And he goes, why do you say this to me when you know I will kill you for it? <laughs> and I'm like, he's so, he's so brilliantly brilliant. confident as well. Brilliant. Like, so great. Like, he is some uh, fucking... Do you like the Superman? I liked, I liked, I mean, the first one is grand. I love the second and third one. Mo- the second one, really. And, you know, the because the, the, the third one is... Like Robert Vaughn For, and, third and one had Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. It was more about Richard Pryor. It's more of a comedy. Uh, and about like skimming the pennies. Second off one people. was amazing. Second one's First fucking... First time seeing it and all was just like... Second one is brilliant. Uh, when he gives Zod the fish in the dish and fucks him into the fucking... Uh, <laughs> sign. Um, and then the fourth one's a fucking travesty. Oh, like the, it's like Rocky the Five. Qu- the no quest for peace. Mm-hmm. The fucking quest for shit. When we were, I remember around that age... The, you know the fuckers that would have had a sky disc before everybody else? Yeah, yeah. So they recorded every movie and then rented them out. Oh, wow. Uh, smart, f- smart. boy. Yeah. This boy used to rent out a, a movie for 50p. But we were addicted to Mary Poppins and The Wizard of Oz, me and the two brothers. Fucking yeah, yeah. Going, sat down in front of the TV watching. But the who would charge you a pound because the two of them were on the one tip. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I know. That's I, great. I, I could do the whole Mary Poppins with yeah. The Wizard of Oz nearly because we watched it. So, we used to rent it every weekend. That's great. And the hair got a pound off his head. Okay, I'll tell you what, mate. You don't look like a Mary Poppins kind of thing. I know, I don't look like a Mary Poppins. Wh- wh- Wizard of Oz is fucking mental. I went and watched. I went and watched. Uh, and I don't know if it was a hung- hungover or a Little Mermaid, I was telling you. Oh, well, you were saying it was great, huh? Uh, man, I, 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 love, I love a musical like you're, you're, It was fucking uh, epic You were saying it's class huh? Like, But the special effects and all too Maybe it was just because I was all emotional with Hangover and all I was literally fucking crying That does happen, doesn't it? I had that thing That was a hangover That's right The first time I went The first time I went was The day after The day after my wedding Which is lovely time to go You spend your honeymoon in fucking Auschwitz That's where they decided to go on your honeymoon I As he, uh, you're tell the iron, but you're married to a Polish doll. Uh, so I'm married to a Polish girl, oh, okay. right? And so we had family over and friends, and we asked them, where, where do you want to go in Poland the day after the wedding? And they all come back and says, Auschwitz. Like, I'm, I, like look at me, man. I, I, I look like I was trying to get into character. <laughs> he was walking around, but I thought it was he one of the whole row with a bus of Japanese. I'm barred. That's fucking mental. But what, <laughs> what, um, what was I going to say? M- musicals wise, what's your. What's your goal? I went and seen. Hot diggity, hot diggity. I'll t- did you ever go to? Did you ever go to London? Uh, 
Haven't seen any London shows, no, but I would. I wanted to see the Wizard of Oz, the second, was there, back to the Wizard of Oz, what did you call it again? Oh, that one, that Wicked thing? Wicked? And, oh, uh, yeah. Unreal. I've heard that's amazing, they're making a film of that. I was in the nosebleeds right enough for yeah. shooting down, you know, the ones with the binoculars and all, but, uh, man, I just had a soft spot for them growing up. I know, same here, Just yeah. if it's a good tune, if it's, uh, you know. I would have watched them as, like, Calamity Jane and Grace oh, yeah, yeah. when I was a kid, but. I watched the new ones with the Wayans. I don't really uh, The Stars Born. Oh, well, I haven't That's seen that before, yeah. It's good because uh, it's a good friend But what do you call the other one? La never La Never Enough, Land. Never, Never. The Greatest Showman. The Greatest Showman. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah. That's just a good soundtrack. That, it's like that, watching Rocky training. See that one, though. What's that one that everyone fucking... Hamilton. No, no, the... the I and, and the Greatest Showman, the... What's that big song? Oh, and it's like the bearded this lady. This is me. Oh, yeah, This fuck. is me. See you next time. See you next time. Some... <laughs> Fucking knob sings it's that on X Factor or something. It's like, oh, it's like they're telling my story. Shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, it's about me. Like, you need yeah. to have a story to do that before you, know you get on X Factor. You know what I mean? Who died? They're like, as a pulling on a camera. As a, <laughs> as a hurry dude with tits, I've always found it hard to feel uh, sympathy for the bearded lady. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm sitting there just going, You fuck up. Does somebody will book it? <laughs> if you're looking apart. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I can sing. <laughs> Throw me in that dress, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm bearded all the way down to my ballots. You know I mean? <laughs> right down the back. Yeah. It's mental. But uh, or do, do we have any questions? No. Give, give, give me one great question, though. We'll finish on it. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, <laughs> Why? You, for, you forget you forget it you forget I'm the presenter, I don't have the questions. There's gonna be a rhyme star. here with that. Um Okay. Do you think AI will have much or any effect on oh. the future of comedy writing? Oh, that's a good oh. question. I know I, I know that I Sorry, know so do we think that AI will have any effect on a big effect on the future of comedy writing? Do you know what's happening now with Absolutely. AI that the, the, the they're saying it's happening already. <coughs> People are doing their essays because you can write on anything and uh-huh, then you want to rip, so they send back this perfect essay, send it to the tutor or the lecturer and then the lecturer could say, hey, do you I would, I would, I would nearly, I would nearly. Nobody's doing anything? Like, yeah. I, I don't understand. That's mental. I don't understand AI and chat. I know, yeah. We, do, we just know why. From uh, I, oh, why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not Everything's a future to us in Strabane. No, mate, I don't really get it. My, my brother... But it'll be interesting to see if, if you were to put in the chat GPT, the, 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 or RAI, and sort of ask it for you jokes about. I uh, can't well, see what it gives you. And see, it, it'd be almost can like an experiment. Humor, I would like to get like a set together almost. Yeah. So our Kevin, our Kevin's been fucking around with it. Ke- Ke- mate... <laughs> Kev loves right, so he loves Elon Musk and like, all that uh, stuff. He's a musketeer, can, right? A musketeer, <laughs> <laughs> fucking like brilliant. Brexit, you're a Brexiteer. Yeah. <laughs> like that's Musk, brilliant. A musketeer. a musketeer, that's brilliant. <laughs> so Kev, Kev loves him, and he, he's always talking. Or Kevin talks about Elon Musk as if he knows him. Yeah. He, yeah. At, at times, he, at times, he has called him he Elon. Uh, you're going to have pod <laughs> listeners who think they know you as well. Did you ever get that? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Same definitely. thing. You're just like, but like it. That is slightly different, though, uh, like because I am more reachable than Elon Musk. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You, you might actually see me about uh, Musk is in his fucking whatever. I don't palace. know. In his palace is under the ground or somewhere. Right? In the moon. So he's dark side of the moon. Ke- Kev's in the all that. So when ChatGPT and all those different ones have started to be public, Kev's been fucking around with them, and he has. Kev has had them write messages to me, like to reply to me. And he, it's, it's so, and he, he pisses himself. So, what's he think of future AI is going to be? So what he thinks it's brilliant, and but it, but it's is funny. It dangerous, but is it Terminator Two? Can stuff? I come in while we say it? I, I think really, it's Terminator I, Two I, stuff. I heard a really interesting, and it's a joke, but a conspiracy theory about Elon Musk that he's actually an alien looking to return home. He is ET. <laughs> Oh my god! I believe in aliens. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take aliens. I'll t- I'm Jesus. Will, I'm, I'm really take it. He's so keen to get out there. I think. I think <laughs> we should finish the podcast on that line. On that bombshell. I, I'll take aliens over Jesus <laughs> any day of the week. Yeah, I think it's. But if you're uh, true, Jesus. I'm only joking. I hope. I hope it doesn't sort of. I mean, I think I've seen because I have seen Kev writing some jokes with it or getting it to write. You know, write me a joke about this. It's always off, but obviously, the more it happens. Yeah, the yeah, better no, it will yeah, get, yeah, get but it's weird. Make a turn. Yeah, shot, yeah, it'll, it'll it'll start to know things like that, and it'll start. I know some comedians could be improved. <laughs> what 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 I think what I think you could do 
is potentially write a lot of stuff into it and ask it to edit it down into the shortest way to get the each Aye. joke. Because that's massive, isn't it? Yeah. That is massive. But I mean, and, you and go... Do you ever notice basic works better <clears throat> and complicated? Here's, here's why, though. I This is why I believe humans will outdo out it, right? Is Have you seen the size of the servers for for these things, the server rooms that they have? No, I'm massive. Like, probably it's like, a huge thing. It's like I... an unbelievable amount of fucking like, space computers. You put... Uh, and one one human brain that knows what it's doing, that's an important bit. Knows what it's doing, <laughs> can I can can look at something like that and go, that's some shitty AI I wrote that. So it has a, it has this brain that is the size of a fucking town, mm. and one brain in here goes, nah. Do you know what I mean? But he has cars now that could drive themselves that you don't need. Aye. Like it's going to be a stage where just a square box is outside your house and you jump on it. Because what do you need a steering wheel and Lee looking out for? It's just for human beings need to have this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it That's actually quite eventually an interesting point. Eventually, might just get to where I'll just It's going to be a better driver than me, no matter what. Yeah. Oh, he he's won't in drive a car with me. There's a chance we're going to the hospital or heaven. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, oh, it's 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 not Who drove them. today? You? Yeah, yeah, he won't. There is as far Banger. as he goes. Yeah, there is as far as he goes. <laughs> yeah, there. Go for there, there yeah. I drove to Coleraine cool one time. I drove to Coleraine. I just told everybody. Well, to the metropolis of Coleraine. Anyway. Over a few mountains. That's mental. Thanks a million, though, for coming. Oh, thank you, thank you for having us, my man. Um, anything you just want to plug before you're doing your play in Letter County? I'm doing a play in Letter County. I'm actually going to do my one hour special, but it's, it'll be September. I'm going to do four nights. Keep an eye for that. Where are you doing? Night. I'm going to do Daly's, Boiler Room, The Cosh, and Meyer Felt. Yes. Get it out of me. Do one in Belfast. I just no? need to get I've got that much land about. I need to do, do five. Do one in Belfast. I was thinking where? Maybe. Black Box, Green Room. Somewhere. Oh, I'll do somewhere. No, somewhere back. Oh, somewhere nice. I don't like in there. Do you know I don't like in there? Just I eat shit in there. <laughs> and, like, um, I don't want to smoke. Oh, my No? I'll see what the crack is. I, I'll see if these four go well because they're all just uh, each other. Boom, boom, boom. And uh, I'll just go right. I'm ready to go maybe to the Saturday or something. Also, yeah, sports club, maybe. Because these ones are no brainers because two of them no, are my clubs. Like. Aye, aye. <laughs> so if nobody shows I'm still making yeah, yeah. two show I'm making 100% profit yeah, yeah that's correct so and then I'll do the green room man, or I'll do dailies because Connor set that up for me aye. and my hair felt same, yeah, or big fountains so and I, what I about you for myself I, I, I recently did my first show hot mess stand ovation uh, really br- oh, went really? Brilliant. amazing like, where was that down the boiler room amazing I mean, oh it's great in there. first class show oh, like, it's amazing uh, in there. I'll do that in Bennigan's in September I'll probably look to do it in somewhere else uh, uh, probably in Belfast where small rooms you uh, know what I mean I, I, I think I need to get a uh, to get out there I need to get a lot Eamon of stuff Michael just to Wee do comedy uh, on Facebook uh, or Eamon Michael Wee on Instagram I will make a dedicated comedy page but mm-hmm. aye, he's, no. lazy on, he's lazy on social media ladies and gentlemen I'm just, I have to drag him I'm like an Irish Daniel Ketzel <laughs> it's hard to do <laughs> social media just to pull me out from under from the shadows <laughs> <laughs> well like I say lads thanks a million for, uh, for coming on it's been a good crack you, man, pleasure man. Uh, we'll see you in the next one I'm away Probably have a shit, so...